Hi planner friends, it's Marsha with Buy Sell Plan. Welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to switch things up in my binder. I have some cloth and paper goodies from my January subscription box that I want to see how I can incorporate them in my binder. And then I have these gorgeous tab dividers from Franklin Planner um, that I did show in a previous Franklin Planner haul video. There were 12, so I've chosen the top ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, I think I have in here, six or seven. Um, I won't be using all of them, but I just wanted to see how they looked uh, layered with some other dashboards and just mix things up, because why not? Right, we, we know that we like to mix things up in our binders to um, help keep them motivation motivational right so when we open our binders they're pretty and they motivate us to keep planning so um yeah so let's see what i can come up with i did not plan this ahead of time so hopefully this isn't too boring or choppy um if it does get that way i will speed it up to make it more enjoyable to watch i have my franklin planner punch um because with the cloth and paper subscription box, I choose the no planner option because cloth and paper does not provide pre-punched dashboards and inserts for the classic Franklin planner binder. So I choose the no planner option so that they come unpunched and then I just punch them myself and I round the corners myself um, so that they match the Franklin planner inserts. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. Probably not going to use this one though because the color does not match what I have going on. Although I do love this one so much. But maybe I'll use this when I'm in um, maybe my cognac binder or my one of my pink ones. Uh, I think this might go better with that. So I'm just going to set that aside. And let's see what I come up with. So I do like this build dashboard from Franklin or sorry from cloth and paper it says today is the opportunity to build the want the tomorrow you want and so I figured that is a really appropriate dashboard to have in the very front of my binder so when I open it um, I like how this layers with my task cards and then seeing the build right in between um, but I'm kind of thinking of mixing it up I don't know we'll see maybe I'll do that one last and we'll just keep going here and see what we've got. So I do like these AM and PM routine cards from Poi and Hun um, that I put my routines on. But my latest cloth and paper subscription box came with these cards, AM and PM. So I was thinking if I put those here and just put my routines, just hand write my routines in, then behind I can add journaling cards or photographs because they will have a solid piece of paper in them. So I'm not really sure if I'll do that in this video, but that's kind of what I'm thinking. Um, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Should I do that or just, or just leave this as is? I don't know, I kind of like the clear aesthetic, but I also like the idea of putting something on, on the back. Okay, I'm loving this still. I am the architect of the days that haven't happened yet. Love this dashboard. And then I have it layered with my inbox dashboard from Cloth and Paper and this Dividers from Dividers Are Us. And this goes right into my schedule. This is my word of the year that I made, or by I, I mean my husband because I am not techie, um, on Lucid Press. And then just printed it out on vellum and layered it over top of this dashboard. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking... I'm thinking of switching this up. I like this because it says it's 2021. Um, a dream written down, a dream written down with a date becomes a goal. A goal broken down into steps becomes a plan. A plan backed by action makes your dreams come true. Love this. See, I feel like this would be really good in my goal section, but then I don't know. I like this being at the front of my binder because it says 2021. And then I think layered with my word of the year intention. Well, I don't like how that overlaps there, but yeah, maybe not. Maybe not. Let's see what else can look good there. 
Well, I was thinking that also one of these could look really nice. These are just so beautiful that I want to find a way to use them. So what if this were here and this layered over top? Is that too busy? Okay, so there's that. Oh, that could go under today. I like that, but I don't like that it says today. Okay, so let's see what else. I do like the X's. That's kind of cool. Or just the plaid. I think I like the plaid. Okay, so that's an option. I'm going to set that aside. That definitely... I don't know. I'm not really feeling that. The star... It's okay, it's okay. I like these florals, but is that too dark? Is that too, yeah, I think it might be just too dark. The green, I kind of like the black and clear aesthetic that I have going on. This could be cool because it's more subtle. I think I like that. I think I like that. I could also do that on that side, just with the kind of wood look. Hmm. Or is it too boring? I'm struggling with this, you guys. I didn't think I would. I kind of like the I like the original because I'm original. There's no one else out there like me. But again, it's kind of too dark. Boo. Boo, ooh, ooh, ooh. I don't know, maybe that, maybe. Hmm. I like that, it just doesn't, it's just not popping. It's not popping enough and I, I don't know, I kind of feel like it needs to pop. So you know what, I'm going to move on I'm not going to put anything in the monthly because I do like how that um, is clear. And same with my today. Let's see for my social media section. So I have this iconic dashboard layered with this number five from Cloth and Paper. And this kind of signifies, this was for their five-year anniversary last year. And what I like about it, what this signifies to me is 2021 is my fifth year in real estate and one of the founders of my brokerage Keller Williams Gary Keller he says that anybody is five years away from having a completely different life and when I look back to almost five years ago before I got started in real estate I had a completely different life and I just love this because it it helps me remember that and to be grateful for the direction that my life is going in right now and what real estate has provided for myself and my family, the opportunities that have come our way and that continue to come our way. But at the same time, as much as I love this, I could still use that in a different, a different um, section. I thought this could look really nice with some sort of a floral. Yeah, I like that. I will be cutting the, ta the tabs off, by the way, when I decide where I'm putting it. Um, that looks really nice, actually. I really like that. How does it look with the darker one? Kind of looks nice with that, too. And as much as I like the star, I don't know. Actually, that looks really good. Iconic, and I'm a superstar. <laughs> what do you guys think? The star or mm, where the neutral florals go? Where did you go? Oh my gosh, <laughs> it's right here. 
or that. Let me know, whichever one I'll decide on, like I'm gonna decide on one today. But when I read back through the comments, I would like to know what you guys think. Which one should I do? Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna leave that there for now. And then my goal section, I like this. It isn't, it isn't where you come from, it's where you're going that counts. And I figure that's really appropriate for a goal section. However, let's see. Where's that 2021? That could look good there. And this is the magazine dashboard for cloth and paper. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> this could look cool too. What do you think, guys? What should I do? Those are the only dashboards that came in this. Um this month's subscription box. I like that for the goal section. I really do. Let's, let's get this going here. I just love the feel of this. It is velvety soft. Okay, and I recently got a hole punch from, or not a hole punch, a corner punch from Franklin. Oh my gosh, I cannot speak. Amazon. My goodness. So they have small, medium, and large. So I'm just not sure what size these are. So I need to grab a scrap piece of paper that I don't care about to test, to test it out. So I will use back of this so this is on medium one do I just put it in here oh my gosh that was so easy okay that was the medium so I don't think maybe it is the medium yeah I usually cut this by hand I trace and cut by hand so this is uh this is nice. Yeah, I think the medium one will work just fine. Actually, how about I use an actual Franklin planner piece of paper? Let's see. Close enough, eh? I think that's close enough. Well, that is pleasantly surprising how easy that was. That goes back on there. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I think that will work. I think that will work. Now my wellness section. I like this. This is balance. A balanced dashboard. This is cloth and paper. I like this because it does signify. For me, for my wellness, it is all about balance. For me, it's not just about exercising and burning a bunch of calories and losing weight. It's about balance and stress release and um, work-life balance. So let's see. Now I love these dashboards, but this might be too dark. Yeah, that's not... That's not doing it for me. Nope. 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 I think I might just stick with that. Okay, business. Let's see here. So this is the paint splatter dashboard from Cloth and Paper. 
I like this a lot, but I think I'm ready to try something different. Let's see here. I don't know that I have much that I can layer with. I like that. Work hard in silence. Let success be your noise. But let's see. What if I... Nope. See, I like that, but then when you flip it over, that will be upside down. So that's kind of... That's kind of no good. Although that kind of looks interesting. Or the original. Yeah, I just, I don't know. That paint splatter is probably just too much. What about... No. Nope. This magazine dashboard can kind of go with almost anything. It could even go nice with that star. I also have this one over here. Cute. That's kind of cute too. Let's see. I think it's between the plaid and the flowers. I'm just in love with these florals. Hmm. <laughs> what do you think, you guys? I just don't know. I just don't know. I also have this um, one here too, this digital declutter. Oh, does it mute the florals too much? That is the question. That is the question. I like the star, but I, I don't know how I feel about the green. But then that kind of neutralizes it, right? Hmm. This is harder than I thought it would be. Let's see the ones that I put away. are cute won't work this way because I can't put it upside down because then it's upside down yeah I'm not feeling that and then this artichoke like it looks cute but I don't need an artichoke in my planner I, I just I don't even know why that's there uh, let's see what else why they included an artichoke? I just don't know. That's pretty. That is pretty. Am I overthinking this? I'm like, this is my business section. I guess together, because my team, my husband and business partner, like that could be cute, eh? That could be cute. I love this home sweet home, but this is not a home... I don't have a home section. I don't need a home section. Although being a real estate agent, that could be cool in my business section because I sell houses, home sweet home. And then there's this one here that says there's no family, love. I don't, I don't need a family section in my planner. Okay, so maybe this home sweet home. I actually think that's quite cute. The home sweet home or the star. I think I'll start with the home sweet home, but you guys let me know which one you like better. Oh my goodness, I just realized I didn't get my paper trimmer. Oops. Okay, let's do this. Not bad 
at all, if I do say so myself. We'll take this guy out. Okay. That can work. Let's see if I can do this. Oh, yeah. Without closing my rings. Alrighty. Let's see here. I like it. What do you think? Oh, yes. I just love how these look with the black binder. Okay, so, and then I have that in my goal section. I really like that 2021. I really want to use this. But I need something to layer over it. And so this, okay, I'm going to leave that for now. Wellness section is going to have to stay as it is. Okay, and then that's my home section. And then my personal section. Uh, let's see here. I like this luxury and simplicity, but can I use something else? Let's see here. Well, that can work. That can work. Let's see what else. Nope, nope, nope. Mm, words on words, not so much. Uh, this might be too dark because the font is black. I mean, it could work because you've got some bold font. Hmm. That or that. Maybe not that one. Or maybe the plaid. How will the plaid look? That could work. No. I like that, actually. I like that a lot. Okay. Uh oh. Can I do this? Can I do this? Can I do this? Yeah. So I want to get to my goal section because. I'm thinking of adding, oh man, I've made a mess. I have made a mess. I'm thinking of adding these. Although, I hope it won't bulk up my planner too much. It's a good, good little chunk here. But this came with my one of my cloth and paper. Actually, this came with the December box. And you'll notice that they're a five, six rings, and they came with this. So this was our, yes, our December cloth and paper subscription box, which they gave us an A5 planner. So regardless of what size you subscribe to, everybody got an A5 planner. These I ordered off Dividers Are Us to have in my A5 planner. Um, not 100% sure what I'm going to use this for just yet. It's cute. I do want to find a use for it. Um, but what I did was I took these out of it and I thought these would be good in my goal section. Um, and they're broken down per quarter for setting goals. So I just thought this was good for brainstorming things that I want to get done. So this will require me to cut these and repunch and they'll be just a tad bit um, more narrow 
than the actual um, inserts, but I don't, that doesn't bother me. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'll speed that part up so you don't have to sit there during that part. And we'll see how I can make these work. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut very, as close, as close to the holes as I can because when I grab an insert, you'll see that it's pretty much still right on the line. So when I repunch, I can't have a whole bunch of holes that don't line up with my rings. So I am gonna cut these off, which will require them to be so, I will, my holes will be over here. So it's gonna be about this much shorter than the actual insert. So I'm not bothered by that. So let's just see how that looks. Okay. So if I go as close as I possibly can, and let's see. this looks and it's not bad eh like it's a little the a5 is a little bit shorter than the half letter but it is wider than the half letter just a little bit so it that's okay that doesn't really bother me and then I will round the corners and that's okay I think this could be cute in my planner. Okay, so I'm gonna do the rest. I will speed that part up and show you how it looks when I'm done. Okay, so my goal section, let's see how this looks. It's not bad. It's it's so subtle. You can see it here, but I, that, like I said, I, that doesn't really bother me. I'm not I'm not bothered by that at all. I love this. I like the architecture aesthetic that cloth and paper does. So goal monthly goal planning, quarterly sections, and notes. So here's quarter one, which is January, February, and March. Okay, so the holes cut into my one, two, three here. That's okay. Not a big deal. And then April to June, which is quarter two, quarter three, quarter four. And then they have 2021 aspirations. So this could just be used um, as a vision board or just like a mind map of aspirations and then 2021 accomplishments. So that's kind of cool. So as things get accomplished, you can jot them down. So I like that. I'm, I'm glad that I put that in here. It's gonna motivate me to, I think it'll motivate me to actually refer, like, like really brain dump and refer more. And then I can use these to get even more specific for my goal planning, which these are from Franklin Planner. Okay, very good. Now this here, is from my cloth and paper subscription box and it came with 12 of these one for each month of the year and they are to go in the monthly the monthly so what i'm going to use this for is actually to write down my priorities which is going to be what my goals are for the month um, and then any reminders, because I don't use this note section for notes or reminders. I use them to document when I have closings and when I have client birthdays um, as reminders to send out my birthday cards. So that's what I'm going to use that for. So that will go there. And then I have that to refer to all month. Okay, so that's done. 
And then one last thing is using these. I don't need to take out the whole thing. All right, I'm taking out. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to use these for social media planning. They're undated and it's this horizontal week layout, which I absolutely love. So I won't need to be using these every week. This is going to be for my, um, my real estate YouTube channel. And what I'm going to do is whenever I do a week in the life of a realtor type video. So I've done one of them so far. I'm still editing it. Um, but this will help me break down like per day based on what I have going on and what to, uh, what to film, what kind of B-roll that I need. And if I need to chat ahead of time with any clients that I'm meeting with, if they're comfortable, um, being, um, you know, in front of the camera, things like that. So this is just a, a good way for me to plan, um, sort of like a storyboard of, of what I'm going to be doing. So I won't need to use this these every single week because I won't be doing that style of um, content every week, but I think that these will be very helpful when it comes to coming up with interesting things to include in my vlogs. So that's going to go in my social media section. Oh, I like that. That's pretty. That is pretty. And this is going to go in my um, yeah, my social media section. So I'm going to use that for that. So I think that's it. I'll just do a little, a little run through here. So I guess I'll be keeping this for now. Mm, too big. Yeah, too busy. The build is just... That looks really good. Or what about, yeah, no. Okay. So I've got, I'm going to keep that for now. And, oh yeah, I didn't decide what I'm doing with this, did I? What did I have there? This doesn't look good. Mm. I think I had one of these. Nope. Nope, too busy. I think I may have had that. Yeah, that does look good. That does look good. Okay, we're going to leave that. Okay, so those didn't change. Social media. So that's my social media. So I kept the iconic dashboard with this divider from Franklin Planner. That looks really pretty. Okay, my goal section, I changed it to these new cloth and paper dashboards. Yep. I added these 2021 overviews. Wellness section, those dashboards stayed the same. The business, I added the home sweet home kept the cloth and paper magazine dashboard to layer with that so the home sweet home that looks cute and then for the personal i kept the digital declutter cloth and paper dashboard and layered it with this plaid i guess you would call that plaid eh? plaid cloth, um franklin planner divider i like that just just to give my binder a little pizzazz just a little pizzazz. That's my personal section. So I'll have to put these back. The purpose of the first draft is not to get it right, but to get it written. That would be good for my business section, actually. I feel, or could, could be good for goals too. Well, actually that looks kind of cool. The different shape. Okay, so put that there and then I think I had another one let your experiences be your coach that is good oh that could be good for wellness too actually but I think it's good for goals I think it's good for goals 
Okay, social. Did I have one for social? Okay. I don't think I did, but I have this intention, which is my word of the year, which I believe I had at the beginning of my binder. I think I had that here. And I lost the little clippy that I was using, so I will grab another one. I love these book darts from Franklin Planner. They are the coolest thing I've discovered in a while. There we go. That looks cool. That looks cool. Alrighty. I hope that wasn't too long for you or too boring. But I just thought I would film the process of playing around with dashboards and just mixing things up so that my binder stays inspiring to me and I want to keep opening it and keep using it. So if you have any questions, please let me know. For 15% off Franklin Planner um, goodies, use my code buy, sell, plan, and uh, cloth and paper, highly recommend. I don't have a discount code for that. I just, I just, I genuinely love the product. Um, but don't forget if you use the classic size Franklin planner binders that you need to order the, the subscription box only. You can't buy the inserts or, or dashboards separately, only in a subscription box and choose the no planner options. They come unpunched. Okay. So thank you so much for watching you guys. I hope you enjoyed that. Let me know your thoughts. If there were different dashboards that or um, dividers that you would have used, let me know. Maybe I'll switch it up. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching again and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.